In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the length of the shortest side in a right angle triangle. Now, this is a right angle triangle. This is not drawn to scale. So, and this is the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is the side opposite to the right angle. So, hypotenuse is always greater than both the shorter side. So, let's me write. Let's. That's one fact that you should remember very clearly. That 13 centimeter is the length of the longest side, which is the hypotenuse. 13 centimeters is greater, obviously, than 12 centimeters. That's greater than this side. These two sides are called the shorter side, and this is the longest side. And 13 centimeter is also greater than B. Okay, and B is the length of this side. So this fact should be kept in mind. So why is this important? Because if you get an answer of B, which is greater than 13, that should immediately tell you that your answer is not right. Okay, so we have to use the Pythagoras uh, when you're finding sides of a right angle triangle. So using Pythagoras, I can say 13, or you can say B squared plus 12 squared is equal to 13 squared. That is Pythagoras theorem. Now, students find difficulty when to add and when to subtract, and they get all uh, muddled up. They don't know what to do. Now, for this side, you're finding, the, you should realize that you're finding the length of the shorter side. So, when you're finding the length of the longest side, you have to add the square of this and this to get the square of this. So, just using logic, to find this side, you have to go b squared should be the longest side squared which is 13 squared minus 12 squared okay just using logic okay so what students do is they add the square of this and then add this squared to get this so i'll explain that also in a different way so this is the right way of doing it so yeah this is uh okay to explain this in a different way uh, to get to to get the b squared, I want to get rid of this plus 12 squared. So I'm taking away 12 squared from this side. So you have to take away 12 squared from this side. Okay. So it's like an equation. So this plus 12 squared and minus 12 squared gets cancelled. So on the left hand side, you've got 12 squared is equal to 13 squared minus 12 squared. So let's get the calculator out. So b squared is 13 squared minus 12 squared. So this is my calculator. So I'll type in 13 squared like this. Take away 12 squared. That gives me an answer of 25. So I should write here 25. Now I want to get rid of this square. And to get rid of this square, I have to take the square root of this side. So if you take the square root of this side, you have to f take the square root of this side. So square and square root cancels each other out. So I'll explain that. So let me, so if you go square root, this is a square root key. If you type in phi squared, that will give you phi, okay? Shift square root of say, say eight squared. So what I'm trying to explain is square and square root and square are opposite of each other, so they cancel each other out, so you can expect the answer to be 8. So that's what I'm saying, to cancel this squared with the b, I have to find the square root of this side. Okay, so b, so square root and square cancels each other out, so b is square root of 25. I hope you know square root of 25 is 5, but if you don't know, you press square root of 25 like this, equal, that's 5. Okay. So now how will you check your answer? It's always good to check whether the answer is right. So what we are saying is B is 5 centimeters. B is 5 centimeters. So let's check our answer. Let's check. So this is checking. So we should get 12 squared plus 5 squared or 5 squared plus 12 squared should be 13 squared. That's what Pythagoras theorem is. 12 squared plus 5 squared is 13 squared. So let's check that. So if you go 12 squared 
plus 5 squared, you get 169. And if you go 13 squared, that also gives you 169. So what we are saying is, this is 169, and this is also 169. Okay, so 12 squared plus 5 squared is 169. That's what I showed you. 12 squared plus 5 squared is 169, and 13 squared is also 169. So you can be proud that your answer is right, and so you can give yourself a smiley face here. Okay, moving on to the next question. You got this is the shorter side, and this is the this is your longer side. So now we are smart, so we can directly do a squared is equal to 8.1 squared, the longer side squared, take away one shorter side squared. Just in one step you can do it. Okay, so this is very simple logic. To find the shorter side, you have to take the square of the longer side, take away the square of one of the shorter side. Okay, so this is a squared is 8.1 squared take away 6.2 squared. So let us use a calculator. 8.1 squared take away 6.2 squared. That is 27.17. 27.17. Now, this, um, this, these two are given in one dp. I hope you understand. This is rounded or this number is given in one decimal place and this is also in one decimal place. So as a convention, you should also leave your answer in one decimal place. So the same process, so square root of a squared is equal to square root of 27.17. So let's again go back to the calculator. So shift square root. In some calculators you directly have the, the square root key. So press 27.17. This may not be in 1 dp, so this is a huge number. So when you round this in 1 dp or decimal place, this is 5.2 centimeters. So A is 5.2 centimeters. And I'll say this is in 1 dp or decimal place. And this is your answer. Okay, and you can check. 5.2 squared, so let us do the checking. 5 points, so what we are checking. So to check, this will not be exact because we have done the rounding. So this is 5.2 squared plus 6.2 squared should give me 8.1 squared. Okay, so let's check that. It's always good to check and learn because many times you learn from uh, your checking. Okay, so I forgot the numbers, 5.2 and 6.2. Okay, so 5.2 squared plus 6.2 squared is 65.48. And if you go 8.1 squared, it will also be 65.61 because this is different because you have done the rounding. This is not the exact answer. This is rounded. So if you took the exact answer, you would have got 65 point or 65.61 year. Okay, so that's fine. Okay, so in this question, the, the longest side is, this is your longest side. This is your hypotenuse. It's always good to go back to your basics. So this is your hypotenuse. This is one of the shorter side. This is your shorter side. So let us name this C. Okay, we want to find what is C. So C is your question mark. So I, I would like you to pause the video and try to do it yourself. And I'll come back after five seconds. Hopefully you've done it. So you should, uh, C squared is, C is a shorter side. So C squared is, 11.5 squared take away 6.25 squared. Okay, now here, this is rounded to, this should be millimeters, not meters. Okay, so this is rounded to two decimal places. So your answer should also be rounded to two decimal places. So let's get the calculator out. 
it's 11.5 squared take away 6.25 squared which is 893.1875 so c squared is 93. I forgot the number 1875.1875 so square root of c squared is equal to square root of 93.1875 so c is square root of that again let's get the calculator out so if you have a graphic calculator you can also so let me do it 9 square root shift square root of 93.1875 which is 6.9.65 rounding into two this third decimal place is three so you should not round up you leave it as it is so it's 9.65 millimeters.